Hi guys, my name is Tahir and I'm a SharePoint expert. Today I'm going to show you how to save and display the relational data in SharePoint lists. Now this is the relation that we are going to implement one to many. The category is our parent table and product is our child table. So the ID of the category will be used in product table, product list as a foreign key. So let's implement it. We'll be needing I already have I already have created category list it only has one column title category A B C and these are my three items in it let's create the product column uh, product list Now I need to add ID of the category into products to make a child parent relationship. Create column. Category lookup. The type of the column will be lookup column. And that column will come from category list. And in the form it will display me title, but I will be needing ID too. ID of the category list. I'll hit OK. And there you go. I'm going to add a couple of items. Products. Uh, product 1. Now you can see the, that the primary key of the category is also coming. Add new column. I'm going to add a couple of more products. Select category C. Now you can see that this column is acting as a foreign key. So now let's create a view which will display one view. Uh, let's create a new page which will display data from the both lists by merging them. Okay, open the site in the SharePoint Designer and go to the site pages. I'm already there. Let's create a new page report. Uh, before that, before editing the page report.aspx, let's create a data source. This is the most important step. I'm going to select link data source option and I'm going to select configure link data source. Before that, I will refresh my designer. Okay. I do not have any link data source right now. Link data source. Configure. I need category and product. I'll select next. And I will select the second option join the contents of the data source by using the data source details to insert the data views and join sub views. This option will help us in matching the foreign key uh, in matching the primary key of category to the foreign key of the products to create one view and select finish. Hit OK. Now we have new data source. Let's go to the side pages. Edit this report.aspx page. All right. Let me open this page again. attach it to the master page let me see if the page exists back to the page and insert data view and select our link data source that we just that we have just created all right it will display you 
that is like this let's delete the second column and the third column uh, well we actually don't need the third column okay well, we can worry about it later let's display the products over here so select the first column uh, second column and the second row and from our data source let's select title of the products list and select this option insert select field as joint subview over here we are going to select we are going to define the foreign uh, primary key and the foreign key relationship I will select ID of the category is equal to category ID of our products so this is the relation where we are defining that ID of the category table should be equal to category ID in in the in the products table products list I'll select select OK and there you go so just play with a little bit with the HTML and you will have your results let's go to the page and hit refresh and there you go for category A we have two products for category A we have two products and there's no part for the category B and category C we have one product for three and that's how you implement the child parent relationship in SharePoint thank you